with me at this year's Fresh Festival is Steve Robertson. Hi, Steve. Hi. Okay, so you've been described as the Indiana Jones of TV production. How does this feel? It's slightly surreal, actually. I wondered what to wear today. I thought, well, I could get away with bringing a bull whip with me. What's the best thing about working on Tribe and Amazon? Um, well, I think the best thing is uh, you get to go to some really amazing places and see extraordinary things that not many people get to see. Um, but also to go there with a purpose and to get to tell you know, important stories that very often don't get told. So um, I think it's much more fun to go there with, with, with the, the ability to, to say something rather than just to, to, to visit. Where's the most extraordinary place you've been? Oh, um, uh, I've really, I've been outside Tribe and, and, and Amazon, I've been to the Himalayas quite a lot and uh, I think that's, um, the, the high Himalayas is probably one of my favourite places. Um, what's the hardest thing about working on the programme in its nature? The managing risk is increasingly a big issue. We go to, to some relatively, well, some very remote and occasionally dangerous places and um, the ability to get the crew out if something bad happens to them is, is, a, is a real issue these days. Okay, so you're an English literature graduate. How do you end up working in TV? Uh, accident. Um, never really wanted to work in television. Uh, I, I left university not really wanting to work at all, frankly, and um, became a journalist actually here in Aberystwyth. My first job was on the Camry News, where I rose to uh, become farming editor, uh, and then various other newspapers and, and drifted into into television and then you know eventually when I, by the time I was about I guess late 20s 30 found something that I really liked doing which is these remote yeah. foreign shoots it's quite an interesting journey really isn't it <laughs> it is yeah no, it, no you know and I, I think uh, had I known I would have ended up here I wouldn't have started from there as it were so I'm not I wasn't you know I haven't I had any formal training which I think would probably be quite useful then is there any advice you'd give to anyone who's any young people who are breaking into the production industry uh, I'm hesitant to say, well, don't do it. Um, but uh, I think do something else first is, is a good advice. Um, you have a specialism, that's what I found. So I've ended up doing quite specialist things and um, you can pick up television production skills, but it's useful to have an interest or a, or a deep knowledge of another area. So out of all the programmes you've worked on, what are you, what are you most proud of? I'm really proud of Amazon. I thought, um, you know, the, with that we pulled it off. Uh, there was <laughs> times throughout when I, I wasn't sure that we would. Um, but I think, uh, personally, as a sort of director, as a, as a filmmaker, we made a film called The Man Who Jumped to Earth uh, years and years ago now, about a um, 64-year-old base jumping off Angel Falls, uh, which uh, was really, really pleasing. And you're one of the founders of Indus Films, a production company that creates factual TV programming. Can you tell me more about this company? Yeah, Indus, uh, we set up Indus about three and a half years ago um, after leaving the BBC um, as, a, you know, as a trying to make high-end documentaries in Wales and um, we've, over the last few years, made lots of reasonably big productions both here in America, like um, Coal House and uh, Expedition Alaska uh, and Amazon um, and it's been a, an interesting, if not say exhausting, journey. What's Bruce Parry like to work with? Horrific. He's real. He's like a real prima donna celebrity. Uh, he's actually he's a lovely bloke. He's he's a hell of a lot better he's, when he's on location. When you, you're away for long trips, he's the sort of guy that if you get if there's you know if you're into any form of trouble to have someone like Bruce around who is a former old marine. He's um, uh, an experienced medic. He's an expedition leader. He is um, you know I'm I'm a bit scared about going to some of these places. But um, if I'm going to go there with anybody, I'd rather go there with Bruce and uh, he's, he'll look after you. Okay, and finally, what's next for you? Uh, do you know, I, I mean, I genuinely don't know. I'm immediately next for you. I'm going to Switzerland uh, to make a film about the Eiger for the BBC. Um, and we've also got a big production going on in Africa at the moment, uh, again for the BBC. And planning various other projects with Bruce, which I hope will happen um, at the later part of next year. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Join me tomorrow for more fresh interviews.